My name's Sheila Dar, and I live on the Lindsay Drive estate. It has a mixture of elderly people and families living there. I was going to print off and bring the comments that people had left on the Nextdoor page app, but there were literally thousands saying the same things about the blue bag scheme, so decided against it. However, the council will have access to the page and should look at what their constituents are shouting. Blue bags were left on the porch or put through the letterbox telling people what the council had decided to do. When the bag is being emptied into the dumpster and rubbish spills out, the bin men have been challenged and they say it's not our job to pick up off the floor, that is down to the street cleaners. We have seen bags flying down the streets that are half empty. So when this happens, you're without a bag. You cannot put your cardboard into any other bin and you'll have to wait until you can order at a cost through the website. Having raised this, I was asked if there was any video footage. We have seen bins on the road when the weather has been blustery, so a nylon bag in the street is quite plausible. The bags or its contents can easily fly out to the windscreen of an oncoming car and cause an accident. Was a risk assessment done or was this point considered? When the bag is full, we're asked to store it indoors and then wait for the collection days, put it out, wait for it to be emptied and then refill it. Where do people find extra storage in their homes? Many grown-up children have moved back with their parents because the cost of living uh, and space is premium and in short supply. How are we expected to create extra storage to accommodate the cardboard when it's not collected or when it is or even to keep the bag dry? One would think if the bag is full, common sense says you would be able to put the excess cardboard and paper into a recycling bin. However, if you do that, the dustbin men will not empty your recycling bin. There are high-rise flats everywhere. They have not been given bags and they are using recycling bins. Why? I'm told that arrangements have been made, but they haven't. They just have the recycling bins. The reason for this is most likely to be lack of space in the flats. These inferior quality bags that you are supposed to keep dry, it's simply not possible in this weather. People are working, so unable to know for certain the timetables of the collections which have changed. Bins are being collected at different times and sometime on different days. That means the bag will be left outside for lengthy periods, so when people leave for work, once the bag is wet, the contents become contaminated, which means it will end up in the grey bag. Coming back to the elderly, we have an ageing population, and there are many in our streets and everywhere else. two minutes left. They live alone with poor mobility and are extremely anxious as they can only ask other neighbours to help when the bags can be quite weighty. Has a health and safety assessment been carried out for elderly or anyone with a disability? I can see that the elderly can ask for support via the website and this request can be for a period of time. This will then be reviewed to decide the duration and assess their need. Most of the old people do not know how to operate a mobile phone and have no access to the internet. We're told that the items that are not separated properly and put into the wrong bin or bag will not be collected. Where do we put the cardboard milk juice cartons that have a plastic top? Are we expected to cut the top off, put the cardboard packaging into the bag and the plastic into the bin? If there are items like this, they will inevitably end up in the grey bin, defeating the entire object of recycling. Uh, I'm sure I'm not alone in asking, was there a consultation done on this scheme? How much has this scheme cost? Was consideration given to the elderly uh, who did not have access to the internet? Or how was it communicated? We live in a diverse borough where different languages are spoken. How was that com communicated? As for the key services which are being cut, the cost of living, mental health, the dreadful situation in left. Palestine, people are in a very difficult position mentally. And you're adding to the woes by giving them another responsibility, which is neither necessary or fair. I'd like to also know if these bags can be recycled or what happens to the bags that are torn uh, and cannot be used. Thank you very much, Sheila. 
Can I now ask Councillor Kruper's chef um, to also provide a brief response on this interpretation. You'll have up to two minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Sheila, for coming in. The changes we've made to recycling and collections have been proven to improve the amount and quality of recycling and reduce levels of contamination, preventing rejected recycling. This will reduce our impact on the environment and contribute towards our goal of becoming carbon neutral by 2030, which is something we've just had discussions on. These changes are predicted to save the Council 1.2 million per annum by 24-25, the first full year operation for the new services. These are in line with the cuts we've been forced to make by central government. Public consultation on future waste collections and street cleansing services took place in summer 2022 and we held a successful trial in autumn 2022 involving over 5,000 Brent households and similar schemes are successfully operating in other local authorities. We will continue to work to improve recycling in flats and communal blocks. As with any major service change, it, ex it takes time for new arrangements to fully bed in. We're monitoring the rollout of the new service very closely, working with our contractor Veolia to address any issues and listening to all feedback. We are seeing a continuing rise in the amount of separated paper and card being collected as residents get used to the new blue sack, mirroring the successful trial from last year. In the last two weeks of October, we saw a 50% increase in paper and cardboard collected in comparison to the first fortnight. The first fortnight in November has seen further increases. The company that is reprocessing the collected paper and card has not reported any problems from either contamination or moisture. You can order additional or replacement sacks for free. There is no cost. Finally, those residents requiring it are receiving extra assistance with the recycling arrangements as before. A calendar with a new schedule has been sent out to everyone and we have plans to trial bins next year. We will continue to provide essential environment services, but also have to remember a major part of the budget goes to supporting the most vulnerable adults and children across the borough. We're more than happy to meet with you to discuss any of the issues you have mentioned today in detail.